Hi and yes guys, this title is no joke. The next Bitcoin move that is brewing here could shock the world. So I want to show you some amazing stuff today. So please subscribe to the channel to not miss out on these important updates and also hit the notification bell. And let's get you straight into the chart. My name is Alex from Iron Crypto. So here I'm right now on the day chart and you can see here exactly what I had mentioned over the last couple of days that if we are breaking out here out of that falling wedge, this one here to the upside, what we did that first the $45,500 level would be a level to watch and afterwards all the way up here at 48000 300 and uh, 400 dollars approximately would be the next level to watch and what happened here learn and behold that is exactly the level that is holding us down here right now for further upside the technical target of this falling wedge is still all the way up at um 52,000 dollars here so and I'm still confident that we will hit this target, but we should not forget we have first to clear some resistance here. So and that resistance goes still from 51,000 to 52,740 approximately. So but when I pull out now the EMA ribbon, the EMA ribbon is about to flip here because we are contracting and if I zoom in here the yellow string is working its way here already to the upside. So once we're coming here out of um, out on top with the yellow string and the price is still pushing to the upside, we might hit $50,000 before the yellow string will come out on top here. And if you remember guys, I had also told you yesterday when I go here now in a smaller time frame again, that there would be a possibility to trade um, once so now I don't want to say something wrong I might be mistaken here um, I might have said when we are breaking above 47,000 you can enter a trade I'm not quite sure anymore about this so don't nail me on this guys you know so I'm not quite sure but I think I have said this um, and if you would have entered you would be up now 2.3 percent with 10x it would be 23 percent that you would be up now in your trade um, I also want to show you here something else guys and for this let's go here to some on-chain data so and something really interesting happened exactly here at the end of September so you can see it here from the middle of September or actually let's here start at the end of August so first the Bitcoin price here on the upside here went up while the overall amount on exchanges went down but then we had a drop in price but the bitcoin amount on exchanges was still decreasing and now we are at an all-time low of uh, bitcoins held on exchanges while the price is going up and this is exactly what uh, we have been waiting for once again to see here a ripple effect of the a supply shock that is happening because of the halving because of the institutional buying that is happening in the market and um, yeah the result of it is that the amount of uh, the amount of bitcoins held by exchanges is dramatically decreasing on exchanges so it gets more and more complicated for exchanges to get a hold of bitcoins because everybody is taking them off exchanges and want to hold long term and because of this uh, the price has to rise to create interest for people to uh, be willing to sell their bitcoins so and that's why you see here the price going up and the amount of exchange uh, the amount of bitcoins held by exchanges at a new all-time low that is incredible guys and super super bullish and uh, fundamental news here for bitcoin and definitely a really really good long-term indicator for where the price is heading then something else that i want to point out when we're going here back to our BLX chart on the weekly uh, chart, guys, if you remember, I would tell my assistant to go and dig for it, 
Um, so now it's really late here, so I um, and I forgot about it to tell him. So, but I remember that I said. If we are holding here these two yellow lines, if the price stays between these two yellow lines, we will see fireworks once we are breaking above these yellow lines here. And lo and behold, we are right now trying to break above this yellow line, which is sitting at $47,422. So we are already above it, but the weekly candle has to close above $47,200. Um, forty-seven thousand four hundred dollars. Sorry. So, and if we do this, and the next weekly candle settles above this level and pushes to the upside, guys, you better buckle up in your rocket seats because what you see then will be something really amazing, and that will be that we are that we most likely will test here our old highs around the sixty thousand dollar mark. So, mark my words. If we are settling above $47,400 next week and we are pushing higher, the next target will be $60,000 and afterwards a new all-time high. So, and that is definitely incredible news here for Bitcoin in the medium short term. So I also want to give you here the possibility to have um, a potential trade here once again, if you're right now on the sidelines. So there is a trade that you can take so you only have to be a little bit patient. So in the next trade that you could take would be if we are breaking $48,500 and we are closing at least the one hourly candle above it, then you can trade to the next resistance level of $50,900 um, approximately um, this run. So and that would give you an estimate 5.4%. So with 10x would be 54%, with 20x would be 108% that you can easily make here. So and to the downside, I would protect myself with a stop loss, uh, let's say around this level here at $47,600. So that would be with a 10x leverage and 18.4% stop loss. So you see the upside is three times higher than the downside. So it would be a, a risk to reward three to one trade. That might be a really likely trade to play out. That is a trade that I personally would definitely take here. Um, so I don't want to talk it too much, guys. It's getting late here. My editor has to edit still this video. So I try to get here through the content really quick to keep this video quite short. So let me get here into Ethereum. I had told you guys yesterday also, you can take here another trade. Um, once we are breaking here into this resistance zone. So and now you see we are here at the top of the resistance zone. So and you would be up now 43% if you would have taken the trade with a 10x leverage. So we have tested here the, the top of the resistance zone already here today. So and remember guys, I had said yesterday, if we are breaking through this resistance zone, then the next level would be $3,600. And then if we are settling above that $4,000 will be the next level to watch for Ethereum. And it looks like right now, maybe not tomorrow, but for now, it looks like that we definitely want to push here for $4,000. Let's have also a quick look here into my trades on Bybit. So my trade is now 35% here in profit, $3,380. So um, that is obviously um, a really, really good and profitable trade here. I will definitely uh, keep this running as far as I can. If we are getting here, um, let's say under $46,900, there I might take some profits. But otherwise, um, yeah, if I take profits there, it's like break even. So yeah, I would close my trade and add break even. But otherwise, I will uh, let this trade run here. So another good level to take profits here would be 47,400. So there, if we are dropping to this level there, I will take a little bit off the table and then I can still close my trade at break even at 46,916 if I have to. Um, so obviously, if you go to Femex, uh, the link is in my pinned comment below. There you still get a bonus of $600 on Femex. There's still a $1,200 bonus uh, available 
with my um, yeah links in the pinned comment below under this video uh, only for you guys so let's get here also quick into Solana Solana is also exactly doing what we have set here over the last couple of days we have said if we are settling above the $130 level what we did here and break above our uh, trend line here then we will most likely go here all the way up to um, this resistance level of 174 180 dollars so and what happened we went here exactly to 174 dollars to test this level getting rejected here uh, now a little bit so but not really strong so it could be that we see here soon a new attempt breaking into this zone and then the next level to watch would be the uh, golden ratio here the 1.615 um, and the one uh, sorry 1.65 the 1.618 at 197 and 200 dollars for solana um, i don't see that any major downside right now if you want to trade solana um, wait that we are breaking into this zone there i would enter a trade and then trade it all the way up to $200 and set your stop loss just under this level here. So at around $172 would be my stop loss. And then I would trade it to the upside all the way up to $200. Then eGold. eGold is forming here another W pattern and looks like they broke already above this. So that is obviously uh, also really good news. So let me just go here to this chart. So it was 12 hourly chart. So here you can see, first of all, we have hit the technical target of the falling wedge all the way up here at $250. So congratulations for everyone that has there already taken profits. But now it looks like that here is a bigger W pattern forming this year. So, and this target I haven't measured yet. So, and that might shock you because it goes so low here and then obviously the target will be exponentially high so and you cannot make this up it goes through our golden ratio so here you could see another move all the way up to the 1.65 1.618 golden ratio of 314 dollars 320 dollars approximately more or less so here if this candle in two hours closes above our neckline that could be another potential trade for you guys that you can take here and right up to the upside. And here again, my stop loss would be around 200, uh, actually here, $241. There I would set my stop loss and then trade it to the upside. Uh, then also really quick Cardano. I saw a lot of people asking me for Cardano. Here, same scenario on a 12 hourly chart. We are forming here a bigger W pattern. We are just about to get to the neckline. Uh, the neckline is funny enough sitting more or less at the uh, bottom of the resistance zone that we will touch uh, once we are getting there. So and the technical target for this W pattern would be all the way up at $2.76 approximately. So, and it is really funny when we're looking here what, uh, what happened here in Cardano. So Cardano came down, dipped here one time, only one time, really quick in the golden ratio here, and then jumped above, made here uh, a higher low, and went then straight up to complete the W. So and now we only need to wait to see a break above the neckline of the W, and um, yeah, a bounce or a retest on that neckline. And then it, we are off to the races to $2.76. So if you want to trade this, wait for a break at the neckline at $2.35. And then you can trade this also with leverage. So with 10x, um, I don't know how, what that would be. Um, on Bybit, you can actually trade this with leverage. Uh, so wow, that would be a 180% trade with a 10x leverage, guys. Um, yeah, guys, uh, we are here already at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I know this video was a little bit longer than usual, but if you stick to the end, I'm really, really uh, happy about this. One thing that I uh, almost forgot to mention, I will reopen um, in December my mentorship program once again. It is incredible how well the people that are right now in the mentorship program are performing. I was shocked by myself how well they are doing. Uh, there will be also soon uh, some reviews uploaded from these people so that you can see with your own eyes that I'm here not joking around. 
Um, so the mentorship program, I want to make this clear, is obviously not for free. I don't give mentorship for free. Some people uh, got somehow confused that I would do this for free. I'm not doing it for free. So if you want to uh, take part in the next round of the mentorship program, go into the pinned comment below. There you will find the Google form to my mentorship program. My team will then get in touch with you if you have completed the form and thinks that you will be a good fit for the program. Uh, reach out to you and set um, a Zoom call up with me or with somebody of my team to uh, to further qualify you for the mentorship program and um, yeah to give you one of the uh, limited slots that are available. So you can already uh, sign up for the next mentorship program on my Google form, even though I will hold it at some point in December. Thank you guys for watching again. Please don't forget to smash up the like button, destroy the YouTube algorithm, guys. We are the one of the strongest communities and the most fast growing communities out there. So smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash up the notification bell until it rings until Christmas and I will see you tomorrow.